Welcome to another Jure Guy video or hands on learning. It's priority one. I'm an Azure administrator, an Azure security engineer, and an Azure solutions architect. Question 12 Create a cron job. Create a cron job named show date that runs every minute and executes the shell command echo current date. Watch the jobs as they're being scheduled. Identify one of the pods that ran the, the cron job and render the logs. To determine the number of successful executions the cron job will keep in its history. And lastly, delete the job. Good luck. Okay, task number one. Create a crone job named show dash date that runs every minute and ex executes the shell command echo current date date. All right, let's get started here. We'll start with the Q. Well, let's first turn on auto completion and source cube ctl completion dash bash. Up oh, forgot a parenthesis. There we go. I'll clear our screen. Cube CTL create Chrome job. I'll use our good friend help here. And we got a nice example right here of what we want to do. And we want to create this every minute. And that's going to give us every minute right there. A little more details on that here in a second. Whoops. All right, so kubectl create Chrome job. And we're going to call it what show date. Rev equals busy box. I'm just going to take this command. All right, let me try that again. And we want slash bins slash sh dash c echo current date. Dollar sign dates parenthesis and that should do it, I think. All right, excellent. That ends our first task, but let me show you something here in the documentation. To get to here, all I did was type, let me go and show you. It's called Crone Job here. And it comes up with the very first entry. And it gives you a nice example. And it also breaks down the Crone schedule syntax for you. And you can see here's an example here. I think said every minute is exactly what we wanted. So there we go. So pretty good. If you need help with the with the Crone schedule syntax. It's a very quick search away. All right, let's go back to our, let, let, let's go next to our, <laughs> let's go to our next task now. All right, next we want to watch the jobs as they're being scheduled. So we'll do kubectl get 
cron job dash watch. We're just going to watch this for a while. And we should see another job show up here in about a minute. All right, so let's say so we got three minutes forty one seconds, or three minutes fifty one seconds. Looks like they're lasting about a minute apart. Two. Oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. All right, so that's looking pretty good. We'll clear out of that and move on to our next task. Okay, next part, our next task is to identify one of the pods that ran the cron job and render the logs. All right, so we'll do a kubectl get pods. Yeah, we got did it, did it twice in a row. All right, you see we have several there. Let's pick the one with the longest minutes. This way, we probably have more logs. So, but anyone would it would work. There we go. Looking pretty good there. All right. All right, on to the next task. Okay, for the final task, well, final two tasks, we're going to determine the number of successful executions. The cron job will keep in its history. And then we're going to delete the job. The, the term, the number of sex, successful executions, is a little tricky. Uh, QC, we get cron, cron jobs. And the, our name of our job is show date. And we're going to type this out to a YAML. And inside here will be what we seek. And you see it's down here towards the bottom. Not a difficult task, but one that requires a very unique sense of knowledge. So there we go. And then, of course, our final task, delete the job. That should be pretty straightforward. Delete Chrome job show watch. Uh, what was the name of our show date?
And that ends all the tasks for question number 12. All right. Well, uh, you will never see, you will not see a question 13. I'm skipping 13. I'm a very superstitious person. So the next question that I will publish after I publish this one will be 14. Thanks a lot.